Of Texas Senator John Cornyn has been at the center of some bipartisan meetings, really trying to find common ground between both parties. Today, protesters gathered outside of his office in Farmers Branch, and our Aaron Jones talked to them to learn what they want to be done. Love our kids, <coughs> not our guns. Love our kids. He's held more than a dozen protests in Texas. Say our kids. And David Hogg says this one feels different. Because this is the first time I've been in the state of Texas talking about this issue. And there is no, there there aren't 40 plus people with AR-15s outside of this protesting us across the street. He's hoping this will eventually lead to the change he's been looking for since witnessing a mass shooting at his high school in Parkland, Florida, four years ago. Save our kids. In the wake of Uvalde, he and other March for Our Lives members are protesting outside Senator John Cornyn's office. Let's figure out where we can find common ground and meet and actually have a conversation, not as Democrats or Republicans or gun owners and non-gun owners, but as Americans united against gun violence. The Jornigan sisters say this is the first time they've ever attended something like this. Because we saw what was happening on the news and um, I felt like, I, like there was something we could do. They're worried not only for themselves, but future generations. I think it's really important that we're out here working together to get our cause um, done, which is meaningful gun reform and gun legislation with background checks, which would really help with um, preventing further shootings in schools. In response to today's protest, a spokesperson for Senator Cornyn's office says the senator has been engaged in bipartisan conversations this week on potential legislation. However, on Twitter, when asked if he's open to making gun laws more restrictive, he responded, not going to happen. And what happened here today is leading up to a bigger march, which will take place in Washington, D.C. on June 11th. There will also be coordinating local marches happening across the country, including one here in DFW. In Farmers Branch, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.